What's up guys? A week ago I did a review on the Google Chromebook. This week I want to show you guys how Ubuntu runs on the Chromebook. So let's get started. So before we begin, this is the Samsung Chromebook with the ARM processor. It is running a special build of Ubuntu, also known as Crewbuntu 12.04 and it is in alpha. So let's talk about what works and what doesn't work. Uh, right now, currently the Wi-Fi is working properly. I haven't had any issues. I've connected it to several Wi-Fi networks and no problems at all. Bluetooth also, same thing, works just fine. And all of the different settings, including the battery monitor settings. The USB, as you can see, I am plugged in and using a mouse without any issues. I can also use the SD card in the back and it also works just fine. The sound does not work out of the box. However, there are a few tweaks that you can do and I have got it to work without any problems. The touchpad can be a little bit finicky. However, once you get it down, it actually works just fine as you can see. Uh, no issues at all. But it does require you to press on the touchpad a little bit more firmly in order for it to uh, work properly. Otherwise, it kind of begins to skip. So let's see what type of experience you get with Kubuntu. Of course, Chrome OS is known for its web browsing, so we need to test out the web browser. This is The Verge, I preloaded it, and I'm gonna be using my mouse and also the touchpad so you guys can kind of see the experience. Uh, right off the bat, you'll notice that the scrolling is fairly smooth, and I can't complain given the fact that it is an alpha. Now let's go ahead and use the touchpad. I feel that the touchpad is giving me a little bit more of a smoother uh, feedback, but again, it's uh, very comparable or comparable to the actual Chrome OS. So let's go to a different website like Facebook because I figure most of you will be using a social network. So here is a uh, Facebook. Now Facebook, as you can see, it gives you a lot more uh, or better scrolling, just the fact that there's not a lot of images like The Verge. So The Verge is more of a graphical intense website. So as you can see, this is a very, very smooth. I would say it's uh, comparable to a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. Very smooth, you guys can see that. Let's go ahead and load uh, Google Plus, just to give you guys a feel. Google Plus, I tend to, if you guys saw my original review, it's not as smooth as Facebook. So let's go, go ahead and see how smooth it is. And I would say it's smoother than the actual Chrome OS, which is a good thing. And let's go ahead and do the uh, two fingers and really, really smooth. As you can see, if you guys saw my original um, review on the Chromebook, you'll notice that it wasn't as smooth as this. This is almost as, or actually better than Android the Chrome browser. This is really smooth. Let's go ahead and look at video playback because I'm sure that is one thing that a lot of people will do. So I went ahead and loaded YouTube. And you can see websites load really fast. Go ahead and go to my video manager and I'm going to play. If you haven't seen my Samsung Chromebook review, go ahead and uh, watch it. It's, I think it's really good. One of the things I noticed that when this plays is if you move the mouse, it starts to What's jump around. Guys? So I'm not gonna move it for now. Samsung Chromebook that I Sound works really good. A couple of days. I wanted the volume to volume works fine on the uh, controls right here on the keyboard. So you don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the volume. As you can see, playback on 360p is fine. Once again, if I move the mouse, you can see it sort of pauses the video. Currently there is no GPU acceleration, so let's go ahead and bump it up to 720p and see how that works. I'm not going to move the mouse, just kind of leave it alone and see what type of video quality you can expect. So I was having trouble with my video, so I'm showing you here 720p Big Buck Bunny animation. Go ahead and hit play on that just so you guys can see. So that is running on 720p. Like I said, the sound works good. We're gonna go ahead and do a full screen because of course we need to do a test at full screen. And as you can see, things start to change. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on allow here. It's not as smooth anymore. You can see there's a lot of drop frame rates. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the volume down here. And it's almost not watchable. <laughs> so just to kind of give you a, 
a feel. However, if you uh, go back to the original uh, screen, it looks fine and it seems to be playable, uh, I think. Let's go ahead and raise the volume there just so you guys can see how the audio syncs with the video. And you can see that it works really good. Of course, you can't zoom in 100%, otherwise it's not going to work as good. Let's go ahead and try 1080p, because I know you guys are wondering out there, and see uh, how that works. Now that's almost not watchable, and yeah, there you could definitely tell that there's a, a lot of uh, frame skipping and the audio sync is not as great either. So clearly if you're going to watch YouTube videos, uh, probably the best is 480p or 720p if you're not doing the max resolution. So many applications that I've installed, I haven't had any issues with them. As you can see, I have even Cairo installed, which is one of my favorite docs. So if you guys are interested, I highly recommend downloading this alpha build. As I stated, it works very well considering it is an alpha and I think you won't be disappointed uh, considering that not everything works like the screen brightness doesn't work, the volume does work. So if you can get past those little minor things or if you want to wait until something uh, a lot more stable or it gets into beta uh, I think that this is a really good alternative especially and it's something to look forward to if you own a Samsung or other Chromebook running an ARM processor so there you have it guys if you own a Chromebook and want to take a stab at this there are a few instructions very easy steps you can take I've left that link down below to the developers and I want to thank the developers for making this possible. They also have a donate button. So if you have a little extra money, make sure that you do donate to them as they are the ones that make this possible. Hopefully we can get a beta version soon and everything will just work right out of the box. But this is a very good thing for those of you that own a Chromebook. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and I want to thank all of you that subscribe to my channel. If you have friends or family that like technology, make sure that you subscribe. If you like the video, make sure you do give it a like and thumbs up. I do appreciate and look at every comment. So once again, thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Adios.